All right, so this is the same charge controller, but with just the bare wire lead ends on it. So this doesn't have the plug and play. This is so you can do a, a twist connect or solder connections to other electronics. So if I'll, I'll use test leads just to show this connected to the battery. So it'll clip on here onto the metal. So make sure those wires don't cross. Clip on here on this side. Connect to the battery. And if you look at the lights here, when I plug on to the positive side of the battery, try to get a good connection there. Okay, so that's showing the battery light on. And these ones actually do have a little bit of a delay before the uh, output, the load output light turns on. So it's about 45 seconds here. So we'll just sit here and hold our breath. Patiently waiting. The longest 45 seconds ever here. There we go. So that's now the, the load so for running LED lights and such from this, uh, the load is now activated. And I'll just show that. I'll just make sure those wires don't cross. I'll connect to the voltmeter. So that's the positive lead. That's the negative lead. And you can see the voltmeter is showing 13 volts there. Take it off. And yeah, so as I disconnect there, that comes off. So with that, you can see the load light's still on, whether or not uh, there's a, a load connected to that. Well, you couldn't really see it, just... Yeah. And because I don't have a solar panel connected, that first light is uh, still off. Now, with using the remote uh, control here, if I hit state, on this section you're receiving information from the uh, charge controller. So if I hit state, you get one beep, and you'll see there's like a little smiley face there. If I were to hit that button and it didn't have a connection with the uh, charge controller, so if I just point that in a random direction and hit state, you get three beeps showing that there was no connection, and you get an unhappy face at the top corner there. So if we go back to this, so that we're actually pointed right at the LED receiver. And you'll see there's a couple of icons, one to send and one to receive. It's showing that it's uh, getting 13.1 volts from the battery. The load voltage is 13 volts. And that's the same as we're showing on the voltmeter. And you can scroll down by hitting the plus sign. So that's gonna show the temperature and all the other uh, charging parameters. So right now it's showing that there aren't any uh, there's no charging current going into the battery since there's no solar panel hooked up. Yeah. And then if you wanted to uh, test things there, so you can run through a test cycle, so that'll have a hundred percent output from these leads. And if you keep repeating that button, it'll decrease the power output so 70, 50, then 30%, then zero. So you can test the dimmer function on the uh, power output uh, from the load circuit uh, on that charge controller. And then if you do want to uh, change any parameters, you can go to parameters. If you hit set, it will let you change it from lead to lithium 12 volts, 24 volts, 
If it's on lead, it will sense automatically if it's 12 or 24. If it's lithium, you need to manually set it with this. So I'll just go back to uh, lead there and set that. And then you can charge it. It will sense when the sun goes down uh, by the drop in uh, power coming from the solar panels. And it has different timer settings. So with that, the first time, if you want 100% power all the time, what you do is you change that uh, default from four hours to, you can increase it up to 15 hours, hit set. You can 100% or lower increments. And then the second setting, it's at the first 15 hours, it's at zero. And I would increase that to, oops, that's 25 hours in a day. Let's make it nine hours. And that second power right now is set at 70% but I could change that uh, up or down by 10% increments. Or if I want 24 hours, 100% power output from the load, I set it to 100% at nine hours. Your nine hours and your 15 hours are gonna give you 24 hours a day. And there are additional time parameters and also settings so that um, if your battery is running low, your smart power setting will actually decrease power in proportion to the charge on the battery. So it will automatically dim if your batteries aren't fully charged in order to save your batteries. And that covers all the, the basics there.